subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today, let me tell you that mathematics has different branches and under these branches, we learn different objects. For example, see here, this is mathematics here, I am writing this. It, I am discussing here main branches of mathematics. arithmetic then geometry and the third one is algebra now let me tell you about these different branches of mathematics so first of all is arithmetic arithmetic is that branch of mathematics in which we manipulate and learn the properties of numbers. For example, we have 5, minus 10, 7 or a uh, fraction 3 by 7. We learn all these under this branch. Then comes geometry. Geometry is that branch of mathematics in which we study shape, sizes of different figures. For example, we learn about triangles, we learn about rectangles and we learn about different 3D geometrical shapes like cone here. Now coming to this part, algebra. Algebra is that branch of mathematics in which we study the properties of letters. For example, x, y, z, p, q and different symbols so today i am going to tell you about the basic fundamental concepts of algebra so here we see that letters which we use in algebra are called variables because they don't have any fixed value and their value gets changed from question to question let me take you the example if a person is having rupees x what we can say that the person has rupees x and it is unknown so what we say that this unknown is uh, called a variable because it gets changes from one person to another or from one question to another now let us use different kinds of symbols here in algebra we use two kinds of symbols in algebra the fixed number and that uh, a variable the fixed number are like fixed numbers are three five seven these are the fixed numbers and variables these are x y z because these get changed from question to question now what is a term the basic thing that we learn here in algebra is term. What is we called term? Term is a combination of this uh, fixed values, its constants and variables. For example, if we take 3x, it is a term. And if we take 5y, it is a term. So uh, this term is a combination of different numbers like fixed numbers and variable numbers so what is a term term we say that it is a combination of a fixed value and a variable so we can write this 3x and 5y these are the different terms we use in algebraic expressions now our next uh, topic is uh, algebraic expressions So, algebraic expressions.
so i have already talked about this term now what is an algebraic expressions we say that when terms are connected with mathematical operators like addition and subtraction they form algebraic expressions for example if i am taking this 3x plus 7 this is an algebraic expression or if we take 5y plus 2 this is also an algebraic expression so what is algebraic expression it is a combination of terms uh, under different mathematical operations like addition subtraction maybe in division as well as in multiplication so on the basis of these terms algebraic expressions has been divided into three different groups so so i am going to discuss different types of algebraic expressions which are based on terms so first of all let me discuss here monomials so what are monomial monomial means those algebraic expressions which contain only one term so for example if i write 3x we write 4y 3p these are all called monomials now the second kind is binomial binomial it's that algebraic expression which contain two terms these two terms are connected whether with multiplication or division or addition or subtraction for example i am taking a case here if i take uh, 7 3y plus 7 this is a binomial because it contain two terms and they are connected with a sign positive here i will take here one more example if it is 7z plus 1 this is also known as a binomial because it contains two terms now coming to the last kind of this algebraic expressions it is the third one is trinomial trinomial you know that trinomial tri means three that means a trinomial is an algebraic expressions which contain three terms so these three terms i am going to write like this uh, 3x square plus 4y plus 1 it is a trinomial because it contains three terms so this is all about the different kinds of algebraic expressions now after that the next term is a constant term constant term what is a constant term in an algebraic expressions so constant terms are those in an algebraic expressions which does not contain any variable i am taking an example here let me take the example like this it is 5x plus 3y plus 2 you see this in this uh, algebraic expressions this 5 is a constant and x is variable 3 is constant and y is variable but this 2 2 is just a constant so the constant term in this algebraic expression is is 2 so up to this you have learned different types of terms that are related in algebraic expressions now my next term is what is a coefficient coefficient in an algebraic expressions i am going to make you understand by a simple example here if i am going to write like this 2xy 2xy this is a combination of constants and variables so here what we will write coefficient of if we are going to write coefficient of x 
So, what you have to take? You have to write the factor of x in the product. So, the um, product is it's 2y. The coefficient of x is 2y. So, if you want to write the coefficient of y, then what you will write here? You will write 2x. And similarly, if you want to write the coefficient of 2, so you will write xy. So, simply it is called the factor of the given term. So, the, up to this it was about coefficients. Dear students, hope you get all these uh, the basic concepts of algebraic expressions. So, I hope you like this video and in my coming videos we will continue further with these algebraic expressions. Till then, Allah Hafiz.